Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to be showing you the 2024 Integra Aspire. Now this will be the 44D floor plans. There's five other floor plans to choose from. So just give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers to go through those floor plans. Now here's your little instruction for watching the video. Um, I love to share all the information I can about the coaches and then your job is to give me a call um, so that we can help you uh, custom order your coach or, or find something on the lot, we just want to help you. Now with my video, you can skip ahead if you want to. Um, I don't advise it because, you know, I want to show you everything. But if you want to go right to the inside, you can do that below in the chapters. So feel free to do that if there's something specific that you want to see. Now today, I'm excited to show you, there's a couple new features on the outside of the Aspire. First of all, check out that beautiful paint color. Uh, you can choose this color, which is Coral Mist, I believe, or there are five other colors that you can choose from. Then let's go to the front here. So let's start from the very top. We have our marker lights, and right in the center, you've got your first camera that's gonna contribute to your 360 bird's eye view camera um, view on the inside of the coach really helps you when you're driving. That's a big um, safety feature that I, I absolutely love. Then we've got the wraparound windshield. So this is where the journey begins. I always say the getting there is, the much, is as much fun as being there. So really you get to see so many things when you travel across the country that you miss when you're traveling um, by an airplane or any other means. Um, even if you're in a car, you don't have this big windshield. So I absolutely love it. Then this year, Integra has given us the rain sensing windshield wipers. So this little device that you see on the front wind, um, windshield is actually that moisture sensor. So the windshield wipers will work automatically. Another thing that works automatically are your headlights. So you can just turn those in auto mode. They'll turn on when you need them. We still have the beautiful sea lighting or the accent lights, which are kind of the, uh, you know, well, it's really Integra's logo now since they changed it from the EC to kind of the C lights. I love that. And then we have Integra backlit. There's a few things. Um, they've given us an extra pin here to hold the generator compartment in place when we push it in. And then we just have the nice um, extra bright headlights and low lights for the Aspire. The front cap is also protected by Diamond Shield. So that's going to, that's going to protect your beautiful paint job. Um, still, you wanna make sure you get rid of all those bugs as quickly as you can, just in case they are a little pesky and try to eat through that. Then we have our chrome exterior mirrors. These are internally controlled and heated on the top portion and then the bottom convex mirror, you have to adjust um, yourself manually outside. First marker light and second marker light at the passenger side of the coach. Then we get to our front entry door. We've got a couple ways that we can get into the coach. So first of all, we've got the keyless pad here. That's one of my favorites. If you've got friends that are coming over to see you that beat you back to the coach and you wanna let them in or a service technician, you can give them your unique code and let them into the coach. You also have the doorbell here so that you can let you know when uh, your guests have arrived. You also have the key fob that you can lock and unlock your entry door. You can also turn on the docking lights, so safety feature, and you have an alarm as well. And of course the key to get into the coach and lock the coach as well. So this is another new thing for the Aspire. We have badging on both sides of the coach because we are so proud that we get to own an Integra Aspire. Well, we want you to be able to show that to your friends. This is backlit at night along with the handle. So it just looks really nice. Then we also get the 315 Michelin tires on the front, 295s on the rest of the tires. Uh, super, super important that you have good tire maintenance. First of all, start with a quality tire in Michelin, and then National Indoor RV Centers recommends about five to six years for the tire life. Most likely your tread is going to look great. Um, it's really the what happens to the sidewall 
having the weight of that motorhome on it for more than five to six years could compromise your tires. Now something I totally recommend, um, and we sell it exclusively at National Indoor RV Centers, is Retroband. Retroband was made exclusively for RVs and for the weight that an RV carries. Um, we tested it on an RV, and you can see that on my Retroband video, so make sure you check that out today. It will give you great peace of mind and again, gives you that safety as you're traveling across the country um, so that you can live this lifestyle longer and enjoy uh, your coach. So you're gonna note that we have the flush mounted sidewalls here with the Integra product. Um, super important the way they build them. They're also built 16 inch on center um, with batten insulation. So just like your home walls, gives it very strong um, hung wall versus a laminate wall. Then we have the dual pane tinted safety glass windows all the way around. Another thing about the slide rooms, this is something that's super important that you should always check your manuals on. People always ask me, so am I supposed to, when do you put your jacks down? So you are most square, the box for your slide out room is most square when you're at right height. Um, so for Integra specifically, they always say, keep your coach at right height when you get to the campground or the resort, put your slides out, then you put your jacks down, and then you do it in reverse when you go to leave. So bring your coach to ride height, bring your jacks up, slides in. Standard on the Spire are the two Girard um, awnings, really nice, and the bonus to those is that you can do, you can control those from the app once you've downloaded it to your phone from the Vega Touch. So I'm gonna go to my coach controls. I've got the slide rooms and then I've got the awnings. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend the front awning and the rear awning and my entry door awning. Now that I've got my two Girard awnings out, you can see how much shade that provides. I also brought out the entry door awning and then I went ahead and went to my exterior lights on my app on my phone and I was able to turn on the LED lighting on the awnings, entry door awnings, my porch light and my security light. I can also turn on my under the slide lighting, which is new. For 2024, that under the slide lighting is on your passenger side and driver's side. So with that C lighting in the front of your coach, with the awning light, or with the under the slide out awning around the coach, it just looks really sharp at night. Plus gives you great visibility into your cargo space. So the Girard awnings are one of the things I love about this Spire. They come standard when they're um, tucked away. They give you that bus-like look. Um, when you're using them, they provide a lot of shade. They also have the um, shake sensor or wind sensor on those. But even with that, I never, never leave my awnings out if I'm not outside enjoying the surroundings with them out. Um, it just takes one huge gust of wind that comes at the wrong angle that can, you know, put them on the other side of your coach. So a lot of times I'll see coaches sitting with um, everyone gone, no one's outside, their tow vehicle's gone, and the awnings are out. And I tell you, I get nervous because you just never know when the wind, weather's gonna change and uh, ruin your pretty awnings. Now that my awnings are out, it's time for a little tailgate party. I want to watch a little football. So I'm going to put my TV, um, bring my stereo TV up that it comes standard on the Anthem. And then the great thing about this is that it does come out. You can direct that to wherever is best away from the sun and then it tilts as well. So that's super nice. 43 inch Samsung TV. We've got the speakers here, USB input and then your um, volume control, radio control, so I can scroll through, I can bring the dash radio out here, the TV, or I can play my Bluetooth here, and the volume controls and the seek and find controls. And two 110 outlets. Right above the TV or above the kitchen window, we have our passenger side security light. So you can turn that on, but it's also motion sensor in, at night. Next to it, we have the vent for the microwave convection oven. And then we have the second camera for our 360 view. I am sure you're ready to see what's inside our cargo compartments. First of all though, 
One of the things I love is that we have the push button controls and the backup lock. So you'll see when I push that, that is green, so it's open. For some reason, if you didn't have power, you needed to get into your cargo compartments, you could always use the key entr entry as well. Open this up, our first compartment is nice and big. We've got our extra chairs for our dinette in here right now. Now this is a spot where you could add um, an exterior refrigerator freezer. They've got a 12 volt receptacle for you in here if you wanna do that. Also inside here, we have the control for our awnings. So I did it off the app on my phone earlier, but if you wanted to do it here, you can just scroll through. So one is your first awning, two is your second. And then if you go to double zeros, you're gonna bring them both in or take them both out at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them in right now. Now they're both gonna go in. And so that's just another little um, remote control that you can keep outside for your awnings. Integra has some of the most cargo space. So just to give you an idea, your entrance into this compartment is about 20, just, well, 24 inches. And then the depth of this, if you're gonna add an exterior freezer, is 27. And then the length is around 54 inches. Just to give you an idea, you also have more height than here once you get your object inside the storage compartment. Next compartment is our pass-through compartment, and we have the Moride storage pass-through tray that you just lift up here, and then you can pull that all the way out. So you can get all your contents from either the passenger side or the driver's side. This tray does come standard for this buyer. I will give you the measurements so, you, so you'll know how much height you have between the bottom of the tray to the top of the chassis rail. With the raised rail chassis, you do get a lot, of, a lot more space and then that pass-through space, which is really nice. Okay, from the bottom of the tray to the top of the chassis rail, it's about 16 and a half inches. Also, while I've got you down here, look at, check out the X bracing. So the X bracing is both vertical and horizontal in this coach, um, attached to the chassis to give you that extra strength and rigidity as you're going down the road. So it takes the beating, not the house. So with the tray, you lose about three, you know, two and three quarters, three inches of space. Um, some of my customers will put brooms and long, you know, paddles down there. They don't get in the way of the tray, just to utilize that space. So right here, we have a quick connect for the airline. So you can fill up, um, you can actually fill up your tires. You've got a big, huge compressor with your diesel engine, or you can just fill up the toys for the kids or the bike tires. Then you've got two 110 outlets. Notice a nice LED um, strip lighting inside here so you can easily see all your contents. So our third marker light for the passenger side of the coach. And then another pass-through through compartment. Now in this compartment, we don't have the tray. So you can see that gives us a little bit more space. So it's about 19 and a half inches to be safe, maybe 20. Um, that you've got that extra height now that you don't have the tray. This is the front screen door. So on the um, screen door, you can add the screen portion to the upper part of that door if you want. A lot of um, our customers don't really want to have that in there because it's better viewing without it. But if you want it, easy to add once you're at the resort and camping. Integra gives you the extra tiles there. Hopefully you'll never need those, but it's nice to have them if you do. We also have um, in that box back at the back, it's our hoses for our central vac. So I'm gonna use my little pointer. Right up there is your inverter, Kotec inverter. And then beside, behind this panel here are your L16 batteries. Two come standard. You can also option in for two more um, if you do a custom order. And then you'll see the disconnect for your inverter. So what this is really for is to pull out your window awning. So you're just gonna take this and loop it through. Tecker has given us a nice little loop there. Pull that down. And attach that right in there. It fits nice and snug. 
and then you have a three point attachment here so it's going to be this is one of those things I would leave um, my coach with this out because it's very secure lots of important things inside this compartment um, first of all you'll see again the inverter cut off there and then you've got your cutoffs for the leveling jacks house power battery link and the generator fender compartment so if we are not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers, where we store at least 300 coaches at all of our locations, except Manassas, that will be coming. Um, we also keep you plugged into 50 amp um, power the whole time that you're in storage. So if you're not storing with us and you're not plugged into 50 amp power, then you wanna make sure that all these disconnects are turned off. These are also resettable breakers as well. So if something, if your leveling jacks aren't working, you might wanna come and see and just, you may have to reset those. Um, make sure your inverter is off when you go to store if you're not plugged in and then also your chassis batteries and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Then we've got two 110 outlets so if you need to use any power tools or hook up anything outside you can do that easily here. Your solar um, charge controller here for your two solar panels that come standard. Here we have a connection for our central vac so you can vacuum out your storage compartment or you can pull up your car tow vehicle vacuum that out right next to the coach. And then you see the vent for your furnace. So again, this is an all season coach and you're gonna be able to use it year round. Now behind panel one, the mystery is, all right, we have a few things to talk about. We have fuses here, and then this is where our batteries come together, battery B and battery A for our battery boost. That's when we tie our house and our chassis batteries together if we need that extra power. And then we also have these fuses as well. And one more available 110 outlet. So behind here is our 100 gallon fresh water tank. Um, I've seen customers get Velcro straps and, and Velcro like extension cords or ropes to this area right here so they can use this compartment for a little bit of storage. This is your little um, window there so that you can see how full your fresh water tank is. For some reason, if your sensors aren't working, you can at least eyeball it. This is where you would fill your coach with potable water if you were dry camping. Um, you can also sanitize it from here as well. Then notice that we've got a little arch to the ceiling, uh, sealant for the door there. That is so um, any moisture or water that gets on this will kind of run off to the side so that it doesn't compromise the seal of each compartment. Second docking light for the passenger side of the coach. Next up is the DEF compartment. So that is our 15 gallon diesel exhaust fluid. Diesel ex exhaust fluid does have a shelf life of about a year. So make sure you check the expiration when you buy it, if you're buying it at Walmart and it's not at a um, fuel station and it doesn't like sunlight or heat. So just keep that in mind. Also right behind that, we have the Spartan emergency suspension fill. So if you ever needed to be towed um, and manually fill those air um, bags, you could do that there. And then just to the right of it is the bleed line to make sure you don't get any moisture. So I would say every time that you fill up your fuel tank, go ahead and bleed those lines. So above here, you'll see the vent for our dryer. And then if you look to the roof line, you'll see that there's a drip line for any condensation from the AC units or rain or water is gonna come off the coach and drip off to the side, but not run down the side of the coach so you, that you get those you know, unsightly water stains, which is really nice. They wanna protect this beautiful paint job. Last marker light for the passenger side of the coach. And then inside here, we've got our chassis batteries. So chassis batteries are power control center fuses for the back half of the coach. Our chassis disconnects here, our air dryer, our fuel water separator and oil filter. And then we have the power button here to lift the back um, compartment for the engine. So just go ahead and press that and it magically opens, I love that. The Aspire sits on the Spartan K2 chassis, raised rail chassis, and then it has the Cummins 9 liter, 450 horsepower turbocharged diesel engine, and it gives you 1250 pound foot of torque. 
you've got a 15,000 pound tow hitch. So that means you're going to be able to easily tow your Chevy Suburban or your jet skis, whatever. You're not even gonna fill it behind this 450 horsepower engine. Then next to it, we've got our seven way for our brake lights and then our safe haul tow line for our brakes. Right below that, you can see that we've got the Integra mud flap. And then now let's get to the good stuff, right? So before we start talking about the engine compartment here, I just want you to notice the insulation in this compartment. Integra insulates their rear cap and their front cap. And I tell you, it really does make a difference. It re really does help you keep it cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. You can feel a difference, um, especially if you're up in the front dash area, even with the shades down, there's that little bit of extra insulation. It does help keep it cooler up there. So here is our coolant. You've got a nice little window here so you can see that it's full. Also, don't ever fill that when it is the engine is hot because that will really blow out a lot of steam there. Then we've got our dipstick for the oil and the engine oil fill, hydraulic oil, our transmission dipstick and fill. Then right below this, you see that this is the sound that makes a shushing sound. So if you ever need to disconnect that, it'd be right here. I don't recommend it, but that's where that is. Right below that, you've got the um, fuel filter. Then we have our engine block heater. So if you need to have this plugged in, you're probably too far um, north and I would head south. I typically don't leave that plugged in unless I know I'm gonna need it. And then we've got our air filter minder. So when that gets up to here, you know that it's time to change your um, engine air filter. Do that at least once a year. And this is your engine air cleaner. So it takes the air from outside. So it's gonna come in through those vent that vented area there at the top of the coach. Come in through this side here into the air cleaner and then into the engine. So look at the beautiful rear cap of the Aspire. At the very top, we've got our marker lights. In the center, we have our third camera. So then we've got the Integra, which is backlit, and then a high brake light. Um, this coach is so no new, it still has the uh, plastic covering on the stainless steel. Then we've got the vented area here. And again, the sea lights in the back that give you that great Integra look. So this is another one of those feature that sets the Aspire apart from others in its class. The 450 horsepower engine, the independent front suspension, the side mounted radiator so you can get to all your engine um, access easily and servicing easily. And then you've got these beautiful side louvers here that suck in the ambient air, um, bringing in that cooler air into your um, radiator fan and so it doesn't have to work as hard it actually gives you a little bit more horsepower another thing about radiator maintenance is that you occasionally um, once you've been driving this a lot you'll see that debris kind of collects in the front of your radiator you just want to take your garden hose and just gently squirt that off to keep it clean and working efficiently then we have our first marker light for the driver's side of the coach and then our first docking light for the driver's side of the coach here we have a little storage spot for our stinky slinky or our macerator hose so that you know that next up is our wet bay. So a few things. One of the new features that they added to the Aspire for 2024 is air leveling. And with that valid air leveling package, you also have the ability to raise the passenger side of the coach to increase the tilt so that when you are um, flushing your tanks, you're gonna have a better flow to get out all those fluids, which is really nice. So another new feature for 2024, I absolutely love this one, is the front spray, spray port. So you're gonna take your hose and connect it to the front area by the generator. Now you're gonna have hot or cold water where you can spray off your front cap and your front windshield when you get to your campground. Love that feature and I'll show you where that hooks up in just a minute. Then we've got our sea level two tank monitor cent um, center so you can check your batteries, your fresh tank, which is 100 gallon, your gray, which is I believe 62, and your black, which is 41. Then you've got your T-valves for your black tank and your gray tank, your macerator, which is basically your garbage disposal for your black tank. And then this is where you've got that tilt. So you can tilt and then untilt right here. Light on, light off, in this compartment. So here's the hookup for your city fill. 
um, this direction and then you turn it if you want to do the fresh water tank the other direction now they've given us also the black tank and the gray tank flush so gray tank flush is this way black um, tank flush is horizontal then we have the auto reel for our hose which is really nice and then we've got a clear elbow here if we want to do a gravity dump and we've got place for our soap and our paper towels and our filter um, water filter for the coach and that's how we change it so this is your shower your external shower this is where you're going to take your hose you just hook it in right here and you've got hot and cold so if you want to wash off your feet you've been at the beach or hiking or you've got furry friends that need to be cleaned off for kiddos this is where you can easily do it now this is the exhaust from your aqua hot just make sure if you've been running that aqua hot that you don't touch it because it will be very hot i'm going to remove this panel here and now you can see that you've got the cutoffs for all the different areas in the coach for the shower, the kitchen sink, um, the washing machine, your uh, macerator is back here. You can rinse out this whole compartment and you've got the drain here. And then you've got the um, T-bar if you're going to do a gravity dump, which you would hook up right there. Next compartment is our 50 amp shore power cord, which is great. You can pull that out. You can thread it through the grommets here so that while you're camping, you can shut your door, keep your um, cargo bays contained and, and not allow critters to get in. Then once you're done, you can go ahead and just auto reel that right back in. One of those features you'll love. It's the simple things in life, right? And then to the side of that, you've got one available, one tent outlet, your input for cable, and then in the back, you'll see your surge guard um, protector and transfer switch. That's gonna transfer your power from either generator power or park power. That's what that transfer switch does. And then you also have the surge guard protector. So that protects your coach one time. Um, I always, always recommend that you have extra insurance. That means add an extra surge guard protector. You can do it at the end of your 50 amp shore power cord. Sometimes um, those could get stolen. I recommend doing it in the bay itself. We can do that for you at National Indoor RV Centers. And then you have that extra insurance, which I always think is important. Then we've got our 400 diesel aqua hot. So that's gonna be your on-demand hot water, your um, furnace and your floor heat. We have the coolant, the oil filter for the aqua hot and your display panel. So midship, you'll see up ahead, we've got the camera. So that's our fourth camera for the 360 view. And then we have our driver side security light and motion sensor and our second marker light. Then we have our pass through compartment. You can see we've got the filter for the central vac. Nice big compartment here, plenty of space, well lit. Next up is our pass through with the tray. So again, you're gonna see we can easily bring that out just as far as we could bring it out on the passenger side and get to all of our goods. One last compartment here. I love this compartment because typically most manufacturers, this is where they put their batteries. You saw that Integra sort of put them in the center of the coach, evens out that weight and then gives, it, gives you this huge compartment for storage. Plus there's a little bonus here behind this panel. are your Starlink controllers. So that's really exciting for 2024. You now have Starlink standard in the Spire, Anthem, and Cornerstone. So all you have to do is you have to get the ID number from off these uh, controllers, and then you go and sign up for your account, and you're absolutely gonna love it. This is a voice of a customer thing. Integra listened to customer and customers saying over and over again that they wanted Starlink. So you got it for 2024. So we have Again, the Integra Coach Aspire badging on our coach. And then just below that, you have your fill for your 150 gallon diesel fuel tank, your second docking light for the driver's side of the coach, and then you've got the exhaust for your generator. So just inside this compartment, you have the T-bar for that generator as well. So you can just pull that to release the front cap. You've got fuses for the front half of the coach, and then you can also 
uh, level the coach from right out here with your equalizer um, hydraulic levelers. So you turn on the power and then you just hit auto level. When all four red dots are illuminated, you're gonna be level. If you get an excessive slope warning, then you might need to move your coach a little bit. When you're ready to go, um, you just hit retract all and jacks will come up and let you know that you're in travel mode. There's your light for this compartment. Now let's go check out the front. The last marker light for the driver's side of the coach. And then let's go ahead and pull that front cap. So just go from the bottom, just pull forward. So you've actually got a T-bar there that releases this just to just come out. And then you'll have another T-bar that you can pull the generator out with. So before I pull out the generator, I wanna show you my new most favorite feature here. So right here is where we would connect that shower hose. So now I've hooked that up. Now I've got water to the front area. Now I don't have it turned on. If I'd go back to my wet bay, I can turn on my hot or cold water. Now I can rinse off my front windshield and my front cap, get rid of all those bugs so that while I'm sitting at the resort, my coach looks nice and clean. Just above that, we have our fluid for our windshield wiper fluid and then our wussy horn. And then we've got our generator. So I'm gonna reach back here. There's the T-bar to release the generator. And now we've got our 10,000 Onan generator out here. So this is where you would reset the breaker if you ever tripped the breaker. You can also start and stop the generator from right here and you've got the generator hours. This is where you add the coolant and then right inside here, is the oil dipstick and the oil fill. Right back here in the far corner is the air horn and then you've got the condenser for your dash AC, which is great because it only has to cool that Freon and travel about five feet versus a lot of the other manufacturers where they, the condenser is in the rear, so it cools the Freon and then it has to travel 45 feet before it gets to the dash AC. Makes it work nice and efficiently. So here is a new pin for 2024 to help align the front cap when you push that back in and bumpers there so you have a nice uh, firm, secure fit. So you're gonna get it and then you're gonna push it in and line that up and it's not gonna pop out on you. All right, now for my favorite part, let's go check out the inside. As I walk into the coach, I've got these great grab bars, leather wrapped, um, lower and higher so I can get in and out safely. And then we've got this buttons here right at the entry door. So we have our main power button for our house batteries. So you can flip that on and off. So as you exit the coach, if you wanna turn those batteries off, you can do that and then turn them right back on when you come back in. And then we have the step power button. So that's for our entry step. Once you're at the campground or the resort, you don't want that step going in and out every time you open the door. It's just gonna needlessly work that um, pump there. So turn that off. And then we have the step light which is going to light up our stairwell here, again, helping us get in safely. And then the very first step has a nice little drawer in it. That's great for dog leashes, gloves, maybe like slippers, just quick on, quick off, smaller drawer there, but it's nice to have that that you can easily get to things when you're outside the coach. We also have a control panel here for lighting and locks. So we've got our porch light, our cargo slide out lights. So those are the under lights on the slide rooms, the entry light, and then our entry door awning, our security light on the passenger side and driver's side, and our awning light on the passenger side. And then we have our cargo door. We can lock and unlock them here. And then our master light switch on and off. So you can just hit all the lights off when you exit or turn them all on when you enter. Then right to the side, we've got our fire extinguisher for the coach. Now that's just one fire extinguisher. I'm not sure that that's enough for the coach, but that's all that the RVIA um, requires. I would recommend having more or definitely look into Protang fire suppression system. We sell it exclusively at National and RV centers. We only sell products we truly believe in. Um, 
I have a, a video out there on that. Make sure you go and watch that protein fire suppression system. So coming up into the cockpit area, we just wanna go over the items in the cabinets here. So we have our AC overrides. Those are going to override any setting that you have on your control panels. Um, as If you have these on, they will run continuously. So make sure you only use those for emergency. Um, if something's not working on your Vega touch panel, you can do this, but remember they'll just keep running until you turn them off. Then we have our slide room control. So again, this is just a redundant um, switch. You've got them on your app, on your phone, on the control panel, but you can also do them right here as well. So your kitchen slide, your super slide, vanity slide, and bed slide. And then you have your wine guard over the air antenna. So you can just turn that on and then search for local stations. Those will pop up and turn off. Our next, cap next cabinet here, we've got some nice storage space. We have our wine guard um, traveler's satellite here so we can power it up, stow, that's all right there. And then we have the lockout switch for our TV. So um, we don't recommend that you move that, um, but I have seen customers that will take out that lockout switch or put it in another outlet. That way you can throw up your GPS on your um, big overhead TV if you want. Again, not recommending it, but I have seen customers do that. And then we have one available 110 outlet. 32 inch Samsung TV. And then we have our Trimark um, software controller here. That's for your key fob and your cargo um, locks. Also, you'll see that there's a little key fob button and the keypad off code. Those are for if you run into your key fob not working or your lock's not working. I would recommend not touching that though, just because you can see it and there's little buttons you can touch. Don't touch it unless you're working with one of National Indoor RV Center's technicians or an Integra technician or a combination of the two. Also up in this cabinet, we've got four 110 available outlets. All right, here is our power control center. So a little electricity lesson. We have two legs coming into the coach. So we have 50 amps of power on leg one, 50 amps of power on leg two. So if we add those together, we have 100 amps of power coming into this coach. If you have a coach that only has 30 amp power, that's all you get, 30 amp. But we have two legs, 50 on each leg. So leg one is powering everything that's in the blue. And leg two is powering everything that's red. So your inverter is red. So power comes in to the inverter, passes through, comes up and powers everything that is red here and red here. So your refrigerator, microwave, kitchen, living room, your outlets, you name it. It's super easy. And there are your breakers there as well. Welcome to the beautiful living room of the 44D. So this is the flagstone interior with the stonewall gray matte finished cabinets, the Tacoma floor. I think it's absolutely just gorgeous. You can add any color here, any of your own accents and flavor. It's a very neutral palette. I've also turned around the captain's and co-captain's chairs so you can see how many people you can have in this area when you're entertaining. Um, I also like to point out that you've got uh, six seat belts. So one, two, three, four in your theater seating, five, six in your sofa there. So that just makes it really nice. Two more reclining chairs when you turn your captain's chairs around. So we have the theater seating that is powered and it's so comfortable. Um, how are you going to find out if it's comfortable? Come to National Indoor RV Centers, sit in the sofa. We also have the decor books that will show you the other options. So you have two other decor interior options. You have one other floor choice and you have four colors of wood. So you have your linen, which are your white cabinets. This is the stonewall gray. Then you have the um, almond, which is more of the natural color wood, and then the auburn. So lots of choices and we're happy to help you do a custom order at National Indoor RV Centers. You can pick your interior, you can pick your floor, you can even pick your hardware on your cabinets, and then we can do a little bit of tweaking with the exterior paints if there's one that's not just exactly like you like it. When you're spending this much money, you should get exactly what you want.
Also in the theater seats, you get the storage compartment, which I really love. You can keep blankets in there. We're always fighting about temperature, so I like to have a blanket nearby. Then you've got the power and USB inside the power right there on either side, and then they've given us a little drawer too. So you used to have a really deep um, storage area inside here. Now they've div divided it with the drawer and the inside there. Great place for your TV remotes as well. Now right behind the theater seating, you've got the two 110 outlets on both sides. And then we have great storage. No divider in there, so that gives you, optimizes the usage of that space. And then also look at the beautiful valance. They taper at the end, so you're not gonna hit into those. Um, also, I love the new lighting that they've added for 2024. It's super pretty. Also, from the comfort of your theater seat or your captain's chair, you can easily bring the TV up. So we're gonna have a really nice window there. Uh, and then we can bring up the TV and it just looks like a nice built-in entertainment center. 50 inch Samsung TV with soundbar. Then we have storage above. Also we have all of our satellite inputs and three 110 available outlets. More storage above. And our matrix box over here so we can direct the input to the appropriate TV. And then we have our Sony Blu-ray DVD player. And two more available 110 outlets. To the side of the TV, we have a nice little storage compartment, adjustable shelves, and we've got that on both sides. And then we've got two 110 available outlets. We've got a nice little end table there for a drink. And then just beyond that, we've got two 110 outlets. Now you can access those when you're in the living room or when you're in the captain and co-captain's chairs, you've got them on both sides. So if you wanna charge your phone um, through the 110, you can do that easily. All right, so we have another light panel here. So for our porch, our entry, our panel lights, and our master on and off. And then just above that, we have our first thermistor for the front area of the coach. So the thermistor speaks to the thermostat, keeps the temperature nice and comfortable how you've set it. Beautiful leather sofa and furniture throughout this spire, then they've given us an extra little cushion. So you may be wondering what that is when you get your coach. Um, that is for shorties like me. So that when I sit down, it fits me right. Now for my husband, who's a lot taller, um, he probably won't want that extra cushion there and then push it back and they've got that extra space for their legs. All right, so typically a coach will sleep two people, right? So drink six, feeds four, sleeps two. Just kidding. A lot of you have friends that like to travel or kids that will travel with you, so this is your extra bed here. So I'm just gonna easily move the top cushions. I'm gonna keep these handy. We'll use them like pillows. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna grab in the center, pull out. Just as easy as that. Once I'm not using my seat belts or if I'm not using the seat belts, I'm just gonna tuck those away. And then pull out the bed. Flip that mattress down. You've got a pump in the corner there. So you're just gonna pull out the cord, plug it in, fill up the mattress. You can throw on a little extra pillow for your guests and then add your pillows, your sheets, and you're ready to go. And you even got a little walkway there if you need to get out to let your furry friends out um, at night. Just a really nice setup. I also wanted to point out in the 44D floor plan, um, when you do the theater seats, you can either have the sofa across with the fold out bed, or you can go with the option where you have the fireplace and a little desk or wine cooler. So um, you can do this option, the, the desk wine cooler, um, in the 44D or the 44W. So as we head into the dining area, on the D floor plan, you can get the table and chairs, or you can get the booth. So when they deleted the 44F, which used to be the walk-in closet floor plan, um, you, on the 44F, you couldn't have 
the booth and the table and chairs. So that's the bonus of having the D floor plan, D as in dog, because you can have either or. So just letting you know that. Now, um, a lot of people like this because if they want extra storage, they've got the extra storage in the buffet here. The table does extend. So you can get four guests to it. They did redesign the chairs this year. So they're just um, comfy. They also twist, which is really nice. And then you have great storage in this setup here. So cabinet here, nice deep drawer there. Then we have the big center cabinet. You can see how much storage space that is. That's gonna be great for things like maybe an air fryer, Instapot, something that's really tall. Um, for me, it'd probably be my mixer. And then we have storage above. So undivided, extra space. Also, check out the nice big windows. I know I've got the blinds closed for lighting purposes, but you've really got big windows throughout this coach. Um, four big windows here in the living room, so it's almost like you're bringing the outside in. I do love that. And then we've got more storage over here. deep drawer. And then two 110 available outlets. So if you've been looking at the 44D plan, floor plan for a while, you'll notice that there's a change for 2024. So there used to be an angle to this kitchen countertop. They have made it straight, adding extra space. So you get extra storage here with this cabinet. Couldn't have that cabinet before in the old setup. We've got the nice drawer that's be below our induction cooktop. So they switched, the sink used to be here, induction used to be there, now they just swap places. Also in 2024, you have the option to delete the dishwasher and you can add two drawers. So I believe a four inch drawer and a six inch drawer. So if you're not gonna use a dishwasher, if your partner's a dishwasher and you don't need that, we can easily do that for you at National Indoor RV Centers when we order your coach. If you want the dishwasher, you get a nice deep dishwasher. I have customers that store things in their dishwasher too. So if you wanna have that option, you can always do that. Then we have the induction cooktop. So any pan that a magnet will attach to will work on this. It's great because it doesn't get hot to the touch. It just gets hot when you put the pan on it, heats up really quick. And then when you take the pan away, it's, it's not super hot, cools really quickly. We have the Furion induction, um, or sorry, the Furion microwave convection oven. So this is going to be your oven, so you can bake breads, pies, cookies, you name it, biscuits all in here. And then just above that, we've got the storage compartment for our cover for our induction cooktop. And this year, they've given us a cutting board as well. So cutting board on the other side, and then you can just cover and protect your induction cooktop when you're not using that or flip it over and you've got a little extra cutting space. Then we have our great one bowl stainless steel sink with the residential faucets. We also have filtered water here at the faucet as well. So that's very nice. And then divided cabinet here with the pull out shelves so you can get to everything in the very back. Um, this is that pump for your um, blow up mattress. So you just hook it to the mattress plug it in, super easy. You've got extra water filters in here, all your remotes, <laughs> just a few of them. We've got our little spice cabinets. That's how I like to use them on either side of the kitchen window. Nice big kitchen window there. Love that because I don't wanna feel like I'm inside when I'm at a beautiful resort in the mountains or by the ocean. Then right below the cabinets, we've got two one ten outlets on this end two one out to outlets on the center and then beautiful solid surface countertop and if you want a little bit more counter space you just pull that out and we have the full extension drawers now this is one of the things i love this is your touch-up paint for your beautiful exterior paint if you happen to have a boo-boo, you can touch it up yourself. If it's a bigger boo-boo, then make sure National Indoor RV Centers does it for you. 
because we have the best paint and body crew in the nation. We have RV sized paint booths at all of our locations, just except our Manassas location, um, where we're still in our temporary location there. So we warranty our work for life for you. So make sure you give us a call. We'll deal with your insurance company. Um, the great thing about this, these coaches is that you can take them across the country. The bad thing about these coaches is that they're really big and you might have a little boo-boo. So let us help you out if that does happen. Look how nice and far these drawers extend and how deep they are. Really nice. Then below the kitchen or just in front of the kitchen sink, we've got the little um, slot here so you can just throw all your garbage right through there, lands in the garbage can, and we've got a little spot for our sponges and brushes. And then we've got the pullout. This is probably one of my favorite pullouts in the kitchen, just because it's easy to get to that garbage can, whether it's through the little slot there or just pulling it out. You've got the covers for your sink and a spot for them so they aren't rattling around when you're driving down the road. And then we've got our little Integra Bible here with all of our manuals in it. Um, we're gonna teach you how everything works at National Indoor RV Centers, but it's not always nice to have that as backup. And then just when you think you're done, there's still one more thing. We've got our nice spice cabinet here with the adjustable shelves. Next up, we have the LG refrigerator and freezer with the French doors. We also have the lock on the doors for the refrigerator and the freezer. So nothing will come open during transit as long as you lock those locks. So you wanna make sure that you have a good checklist. If you want a copy of my checklist, you can email me at Angie, A-N-G-I-E at N-I-R-V-C dot com. I'll be happy to share that with you. Um, it's one of the things I talk about on my RV in 101 series. So we do have the nice freezer here with the double shelves. And then probably a favorite part of this floor plan for me is the big pantry with pull out shelves. Check out those shelves. You can get to everything in the way, way back. You have five shelves and these are a little bit deeper so you can put those taller items, maybe like your air fryer Instapot here if you use it often and wanna be able to easily get to it. And here as well, you just push the shelves in and pull out and they lock in place. Here is our dust pan for the coach. So you just sweep everything towards it and then turn it on and it will suck it all away. And then around the corner from that, we have our central vac connection here. So open that up and you can vacuum the entire coach. Just above that, we have the RVCO and the propane gas alarm and our thermistors for the center part of the coach. Then we come right up to our Vega touch panel. One of my favorite things about the Integra product. So first thing that I want to show you on this is that you can go to your settings and you can go right here to your mobile app. This is where you download the Mira app to your phone. Then you scan this, you'll see this Mira ID code come up and then you put in your code and you can uh, connect this app to your phone. So you can do almost all the controls that you can do here at the panel from your phone. So inside or outside the coach, it's really nice. So let's go to our home button here. We've got our light master on and off and our exterior master on and off. Then it's gonna let us know what our AC, what our temperature is, the front, mid and rear of the coach. Then we have our tank levels here, our water pump, we can lock and unlock the entry door and we can lock and unlock the cargo doors as well. We have the aqua hot burner and the aqua hot electric. Your burner is gonna be for when you're gonna take a shower. You wanna make sure that's on so you have that on-demand hot water and then electric water or electric um, will just be for if you wanna wash your hands or you wanna fill a pot full of water, you know, just if you need it for a short amount of time. Your kitchen fans right here. So low, medium, high, open and shut, power and on and off, exhaust and intake. And then you've got your chassis or your house and chassis batteries. Your auto gen start is disabled right now. And then you can start and stop your generator. It's gonna give you your generator hours here and it will pull you, let you know what kind of amps you're pulling into the coach. 
So let's go to our electrical screen here. So this is gonna show us where we're getting our power. So our power source is being inverted right now. So you can see that it's going from the house batteries to the inverter, the little arrows, and then to the breaker box. Uh, if we were plugged into shore power, it would show you it there, or if the generator was on, it would show you, show you it there as well. Um, so then you're also gonna get your um, chassis, your house batteries and your chassis battery levels. Um, you can turn on your inverter here th as well. You can start and stop your generator. You can also go to your electrical settings. This is going to let us know how much um, volts and amps and watts we're bringing in from our solar panels. So you can see 40.3 volts, 2.7 amps, 106.3 watts. So volts times amps equals your watts. Then you can go to battery two and see what it's doing for them there. And then you can go to history and you can see what kind of solar power um, you brought up historically. So today, yesterday, two days ago, seven days total. So you can go to your electrical settings here. This is gonna get you to your auto gen start settings. So this is going to let you set the triggers for your auto gen start. So right now we've got it triggering when it drops below 11.7 volts, it will go on. The runtime will be 15 minutes. Um, time at the start volts is 60 seconds and the max runtime is 720 minutes. So you can adjust that, customize it to you, set your quiet time, all that good stuff right there. Then we'll go to our light switches. So this is gonna give you all the controls for the lights for the front of the coach, the rear of the coach, and the exterior of the coach. So if I wanna do my kitchen, I can turn them on right there. Anything that has the arrows up and down means that it's dimple and you're just gonna hold that turn it on or turn it off and then hold it and you can dim that light. Um, also on the exterior, you can do your porch light here. So if you're inside at night and all of a sudden you hear something outside, you can flip on that porch light or your docking lights, your badge lights. Those are the, the lights, the badging that I showed you on either side of the coach. It's really nice, your accent lights, security. So a lot of things that you can flip on outside from right in here and then you can turn them off with the master switch as well. Next up is our climate control. So right here you can see what the temperature is throughout the coach and then I can set it to whatever temperature I want to be comfortable at and then you've got your cool, heat pump, aqua hot and auto. Also we're going to have the temperature of our cargo bays which is really nice so this is an all seasons coach, year round coach, um, your aqua hot you can set here as well your burner your electric and then your floor heat you can turn on from here also this is your slide room and awning controls so it's going to give you a little warning to make sure that every you're clear of you know your captain's chairs anything outside that you may run your slides into and then you can extend your kitchen slide bed slide vanity slide and super slide extend and retract from right here and then you've got your rear awning your front awning and your door awning then we're back to our settings button so you can adjust the brightness of your screen you can go into cleaning mode so you can clean off the whole screen without um, engaging any of the buttons your mobile app you can go to network diagnostics Aqua hot diagnostics, change the uh, temperature units from Fahrenheit to Celsius. It's going to show you your floor plan. Anyway, everything right there, super easy, easy to use and very user friendly. Now to the half bath. So really nice roomy half bath. I always say that Integra has some of the biggest half baths on the market. So I always like those and great storage. So we've got storage above. Also notice that we've got our max fan here with the controls that are on the wall lots of storage behind the mirrors in the medicine cabinet also have our um, fuses for our kitchen fan our rear bath fan closet lights um, tv awning controls and ceiling fans then we've got our solid surface with the integrated sink lots of counter space here in this half bath residential faucets two 110 outlets our towel bar, um, hook for our hand towel here and then more storage and then more storage below here and even a little flip down so they give you every little uh, 
available space. We've got light switches on the wall, the fan controls, and we even have a little storage right behind the toilet. So a great place to keep extra toilet paper, push button controls for the um, toilet, and a nice little window so you don't feel like you're in a small space. I always like to have that extra little space. Um, toilet paper holder and then a towel hook, which is great. I always love to have extra towel hooks. Welcome to the beautiful master bedroom of the 44D. I did want to note, let you see how the doors work so you can totally close off your master from the rest of the coach. And then they lock into place so they're not gonna rattle when you're going down the road. Also, you have the air secure lock. So there's also a little tab that goes in and locks these doors when you do release the park brake. Again, to hold them in place, you also have that little air lock on your entry door as well. So just um, contributes to the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market today, period, that you get with Integra. Now, um, you've got the king size bed, beautiful bedding and new um, nice headboard for 2024. I always like to point out your valances. I love how they taper the legs so that you don't hit those um, when you're sleeping. And then we have great storage above it is really nice and deep i can not even reach the back of that wall so i typically will put my stuff in big plastic containers so that you can push it in and then just pull it out and notice that you do have the two 110 outlets up there as well so underneath the cabinets you've got the light controls for your ceiling courtesy lights reading lights, accent overhead rear bath your panel lights so that this doesn't light up at all and keep you awake you can turn those off and then you can lock and unlock your entry door you also have the control for your ceiling fan then you have your LED lights and you've got your reading lights here and those are just push button controls so you can push it on you have a little light and then it's directional too so you can put it right where it's handy and then turn it off throughout the Aspire your balances are all manual but that's really nice. They always work as long as your hands work, your arms work. Um, and I do love that you've got the windows, opening windows here in the master bedroom so that you can get that cross breeze if you'd like. You have the nightstands on both sides of the bed, nice solid surface countertop, two 110 outlets, and then a little cubby below. Next up, the wardrobe setup. So this is pretty much the same setup in all the master bedrooms. Um, it maximizes your space. So you have two big wardrobes with adjustable shelves and that's a lot of space and then in here the very top shelf we have kind of our av center where you have our sony blu-ray dvd player and then we've got our hdmi put input and our satellite input so if you want to hook up any gaming systems or ever, anything back here you can do that right there below the wardrobe we've got two big drawers more storage here in the center. Our sound bar. Solid surface countertop, two 110 outlets. Another light panel here. And then we've got our 32, 32 inch Samsung TV. And there's a little clip back there that allows you to open that up. And then we've got our safe and extra storage space. I love this because it's tucked away, but easy to get to at the same time. And then again, our second wardrobe and two more drawers. So as I step into the bathroom, a couple of things to notice. First of all, I don't know if I've pointed out that we have the porcelain tile floor throughout and it's heated and that's standard. So heated through the aqua hot system. So really nice. Also want to point out again that you have another pocket door here separating the master bedroom to the master bathroom and you have a full size mirror uh, into the bathroom so you can check out your outfit that's always important then when you push it back in it locks into place also remember that all pocket doors in the integra have that air secure lock so when i release the parking brake they're going to have a little pin goes up so that it doesn't rattle in travel mode now one of the things that's unique to the d floor plan is that you have the full tile floor all the way until you get to the walk-in closet so no need to have to manage a step in the middle of the night if you need to 
run to the bathroom. That's one of the features I really like. And then your um, bathroom is also on the slide. So when that slide goes out, I just think the bathroom feels nice and big and roomy. Then we have our porcelain toilet with the push button controls, toilet paper holder, and we have storage below there. So that's nice, a little, another little cubby that you can tuck away toilet paper whatever and then we have another window for our bathroom here two 110 outlets our controls for our max air fan then just above our window we have more storage and then with towel bar here i love that they give us extra hooks for towels here here on the door handle and then we've got that lock that's on my travel checklist too so then i'm going to step into the shower here Got the porcelain tile on the wall here as well. This is a 36 by 40 shower, so nice and roomy. I really love what they've done with it in 2024. We've got the skylight here, so it gives us extra headroom. And then we've got the drop down teakwood seat that you can use if you need to, or you can push it up so it just gives you more space in the shower. We have the fixed shower head, and then we have the handheld that we can put in here and move that up and down. Now we also have the um, shower miser, which is going to save water basically, because you always get into the shower, turn on the water because you want it to get warm first. Well, this way you're gonna turn on the, so let's see how this works. This is going to, when you turn the knob, this direction right here, you're recirculating the water. So nothing's gonna come out of your faucets. Once this dial lights up to like a lighter color, then you know the water is warm. You're gonna turn it over here. Now the water will come out and you can have a nice warm shower. So you're not needlessly using the water in your fresh water tank and you're not needlessly filling up your gray tank just while you wait for your water to get warm. So look at all the counter space. That's what I want you to notice in the Aspire 44D bathroom. We have the single sink, which is actually kind of nice because it does give you more counter space. You've got the 110 outlets on either side, beautiful backsplash, solid surface countertop with the integrated sink, residential faucets, and then my favorite here is the medicine cabinet. So I think Integra was one of the first to really actually make use of all that space behind your mirror and give you that storage. So check out how much space you have here. So much space. And the other favorite thing about this is that it's great for seeing how the back of your hair looks. So you don't even have to have that extra little mirror because you've got these big mirrors. Anyway, it's lovely, I love it. Uh, then we have the towel hook here and our light controls more storage so nice drawer flip down another nice drawer look at all that space this is more space more space with the medicine cabinets and the drawers than i actually have in my home bathroom adjustable shelves just you can't ask for more than that so now i finally step up into my walk-in closet I also love this floor plan because I think it has the biggest closet, the most storage. Um, if you like clothes and you wanna bring them all with you, this is probably a floor plan that you may really like. Here's your toggle switch for your closet light. Um, another pocket door when you walk into the closet here. And then immediately to my right, I have my Splendid washer and dryer. And then a little drawer below so you can put your dryer sheets in there your washing tablets and then we've got this big wardrobe behind me and you have access to all of it you don't have to open doors so that's why I like it selling this floor plan but there's um, I believe six floor plans that you can choose from in the Aspire one being the 40 foot and the rest will all be 44 feet more storage here with adjustable shelves and then three nice big drawers. Oh, and I actually forgot to show you one of the storage spaces. You also have storage underneath your master bed. So that just gives you that much more storage in this master bedroom bathroom suite. 
So I always like to show the floor plan with the slides in. So you can see that you can easily get to your rear bed, your master bed, and you could sleep on it without taking the slides out. You have full access to the bed. Then you have full access to your pantry. So I can pull those out, get to all my food. Also get in my refrigerator and freezer. And of course, most importantly, can I get into the bathroom? Yes plenty of room like lots of space here in now the bathroom and then you have a lot of space here in the kitchen area you could be cooking getting the crock pot ready it gets a little bit tight when you get here when you have the sofa theater seater seating combination if you go with that um, fireplace desk uh, setup you have a big walkway here but with the theater seating they come out a little bit more because you're you've got to have that ring the reclining feature so that you don't hit the windows so you can easily get through still but it's a little bit tighter when you do the sofa theater seats so finally to the cockpit area first of all we have the comfy captain and co-captain's chairs very comfortable you could spend all day here i promise you and you're not going to mind it and then we've got the adjustable levers just inside the armrest there to adjust those till you get them to the perfect height we have our power chairs forward and back and down the front and the back and then we have the backrest lumbar support and then this will be for the um, footrest when you're in the living room position to get to that living room position there's a lever over here that you just lift up and then you can easily turn your chair around you have to make sure your steering column is up and then move your seat backwards turn it and then you can move it forward so here to my left we have the tag dump uh, button I usually just keep that in auto the only time that you would dump the tag is if you needed some extra traction like you were in mud or something like that then we can start and stop our generator here here's the battery boost button that I talked about um, where you want to tie your chassis and house batteries together um, to give you that extra power to start your ignition then we have our dome lights here for the captain, drink holder, wireless charging pad. So you just lay your phone down there and it will start charging. Then we have our 3000 Allison transmission here. So reverse neutral drive, you can go into economy mode. And then if you press the plus and the minus together, you can get your oil health, oil life, filters, trans health, no codes. Next we have our park brake release and then we have our lights and we can put those on auto so they'll automatically come on. We don't have to worry about anything anymore. Um, if we want to do it you know, manually, we can turn on our headlights or our running lights or turn those off. And then we also have our fog lights. Down below here, we've got our USB charging port and a 12 volt receptacle. And then down at our foot here, we have the control to tilt the steering wheel. Get that right in the right position for us. On the column itself, we have our hazards. To turn those off, they don't push back in, so you just have to turn your turn signal on and they will go right off. Now, obviously this is your turn signal on and off and then you can pull it forward to flash your brights if you need to this is where you can answer a call and then push backwards to hang up a call then you can turn your engine brake on and then you can push it back for high medium and low the paddles to my right are volume control and then if you push up you can mute push down you can turn off your screen so right here on the steering column we've got our cruise control so a little trick if you want to air up your coach quicker you would start it up then come in here turn on your cruise control you can see the little dial comes up on the dash and then hit your set button and you can see my rpms going up that will help fill up your airbags quicker um, also that's how you're going to be able to uh, turn on your cruise control while you're driving so you have cruise control on set resume and then you can cancel cruise control. Here are your high beams. So if you want to flash your high beams, you would push here. 
Then you've got your horn in the center and right here to the right is where you engage the air horn. So with, when I'm driving something this big and heavy, I wanna make sure I have my air horn on. Otherwise, it's just your little wussy horn. And this is where you can flash your marker lights. If a trucker has flashed his brights to let you know um, you've passed him and he's letting you know that it's safe to go back into your lane, you want to flash your marker lights three times to thank him. Now here are your windshield wiper controls. Those are automatic now with the moisture sensing windshield wipers. So you really don't need to worry about this, but you can turn them on and off here, high and low, and your windshield wiper fluid is in the center. So now to our dash information controls here. So we've got our big 15 inch dash here, and I can scroll, I can move the screen, the screen view here. I can go from my cameras to my navigation, back to my miles per hour. So that's super easy to do while you're driving. So then you can go to source. That's gonna scroll through your USB, your Sirius, uh, Bluetooth, or your radio. And then this is going to be the seek and search for your radio here. Now let's go to the center dial here because that's gonna be information for your dash screen. So right now we're at our home screen. We have trip one up. If I scroll down, I get more information about trip one. Then I get my tire pressure. And if I click into that, I can get the temperature as well for my tires. Then scroll down, PSI, easy steer. So that's your computer aided driving assist. So if there's a strong wind, um, pushing on the coach, it's going to detect that and then adjust for it automatically. Same with there's a camber to the road, it will detect that and adjust. So it's just going to help you. Um, you know, it makes driving easier basically. And I like when I'm driving highway, I like to have max help. So I like the steering column to feel a little stiffer. So I'm going to click into my easy stair and then I'm going to take it all the way up. You can see the green dial going up and then I will lock that in. And I can take it down if I'm in a parking lot. I, you know, I can take it all the way down to the minimum so it's easier to steer. Okay, suspension level. Remember, we have the air leveling here, so this is another place that I can air level, um, or I can do it on my other screen, also. And then we have the accelerator position. So now, no, I can go into brightness. I can adjust the brightness of the screen go into settings and I'm gonna go all the way up to TPMS and enter into that so this is where I can um, see my tire pressure and temperature all on one screen I can also add a tow vehicle if I'm planning on doing that super easy to do you also have your nav zoom wiper sensitivity you can change that sound volume of your alerts units fahrenheit celsius service reminders there's none screen position so right here i can click into that and then i can with these arrows move the screen position up or down for easy viewing when i'm driving i usually want it all the way up there and then just lock it in so now to my favorite favorite thing this 15 inch screen is phenomenal so first of all you can see the bird's eye view which you'll be able to see more um, when we're driving because i'm in a parking lot right now so you don't really get the the benefit of it but i can click here and i can pick my view so there's my bird's eye view side cameras rear and i can go back to just my bird's eye view camera or the rear view plus the bird's eye view which i like so you're going to see how cool that is when we're driving down the road i can also take this screen with my screen view button and put it over on my dash um, and i'll show you that when we're driving as well so next button we've got our audio button here so this is for our radio and we can change stations seek find right here or do it you know one at one station at a time however you want to do that tune it go to my climate controls so this is the front dash AC so I can um, do the fan speed the hot or the cool and then I can direct that airflow 
and I can also sync the driver and passenger side if I want to as well. Defrost, you name it, you've got all your um, knobs right there or you can use these below if you want. But everything's touch screen also. Now for your shades, these are for your driver's day and night shades. So when the ignition is on, you're not going to be able to bring these down. Um, you need to have those up, but I can bring them up if I want. Just super easy. Switch from day or night, no problem. Then we have our controls. So here's where I can adjust my exterior mirrors. I can turn on my defrost and I can also have memory set up for both of those. And then I can go to my pedal controls. So say I'm driving, I'm getting a little bit tired of the position of my foot. So I can put those pedals back or forward so that I'm comfortable. Then you can go to your cameras from right here and you can scroll through different views like that. I think it's just as easy to touch up top and then pick your, your view that you like the most. Next up is your GPS. So you can throw that up here on the screen, input all the information, and so can the co-pilot. I'll show you that in a second. Here are your fan controls. This is just kind of telling you where you are on your AC, your volume of your radio. And then let's go up to the top here. This is for our air leveling. We can go to um, high ride or low ride or normal. Now this is where I can manually do that air leveling. Um, I can lower everything, I can raise everything, or I can just do individual sides, or I can do it automatically, raise and lower. And then here are my hydraulic jacks. So I can do that from outside, or I can do it from inside right here. Phone, this is where I can connect my phone Bluetooth to um, the coach so that I can have conversations while I'm driving down the road, hands-free. Then we have our light controls for so the dome light, which is right over the top of me, our interior master light, exterior lights master, and then our badge lighting, so that's on the side and the front and the rear of the coach, accent lighting on, those are your C lights and your docking lights. Utilities, this is where I can um, change the house temperature then I've got my cargo locks and my entry door locks, generator on and off, auto gen start on and off, and the slide um, step cover here. So I can extend this so none of my passengers fall into the stairwell. Then settings, this is where I can go. I can scan this to get to any updates for the system. So you have also the TV out, so I can change from navigation to my cameras, uh, to the TV on the overhead TV. Now this will only work when you're not in ignition mode unless you take off the TV lockout plug. Then we've got our Bluetooth here. You can set that up. So settings, this is where I can customize my screen information. And then I can change the brightness of the screen, take it down or reset everything. We can manually adjust the AC here. And then we've got our little storage compartment there. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we went back to just a key. No more keyless ignition fob. So the good old key always works 100% of the time. No battery issues. You still have the fob for your doors, but not for your ignition. So the co-captain seat is just as comfy as the driver's seat. You have all the same controls, except in the co-captain's chair, I can extend the footrest, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. The other bonus too is now when the ignition is on, we have a new control panel over here to my right. So here I can control the radio, the volume, the temperature for just my area, which is great. Thank you, Integra, because I'm always cold, hubby's always hot, um, so I can have my own temperatures or we can sync them together. Then I've got the shade controls for the windshield, the driver and passenger day and night shades. Light controls for the dome light just over the, um, the top of me here, interior master and exterior master. 
and then our settings so I can change the brightness, clean the screen, and reset the settings. Also right here, I've got the step cover control. So if I wanna let someone in the coach, I can take those steps back, or when we're ready to travel, I can go into travel mode and bring that step cover up. Then we have our HDMI and USB ports, cup holder, and then way behind here, I've got a spot I could set my phone and there's two 110 outlets. So now for the fun part. Now, for those of you that are scared to drive a Class A diesel, I just talked to someone that said they would never drive one. You're missing out. It's so much fun. It is a little nerve wracking in the beginning, I promise. Um, but go to a park, go to somewhere that there's not a lot of cars around you and then just take your time. Um, the biggest thing that you have to get used to is where your turning point is. So your turning point is actually the center of the front axle. And so you just have to put your nose out there a little bit more than you're comfortable. Then you're gonna fit in the lane. You just have to hug the, set, the left side of the lane that you're traveling in because you have to think about street signs, tree limbs, road debris, all that is typically on the right side. So um, those trees can be very expensive. If you happen to put a big old scrape, scra scratch or scrape on your coach, make sure your first call is to National Indoor RV Centers. We can help you out um, and get you fixed up better than new. All right, so let's head out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my blinker on. You can see I still have my 360 view, so I can easily see if I'm staying in my lane watch my back tires and now the fun begins that's i always say it starts when you get behind the driver's wheel and in the seat you're gonna love that 360 view i love it so much that i actually like to throw it up here on the dash so right now i've got just my miles per hour up there but i can hit my screen view here and I can put up my GPS. So that's kind of helpful if I'm, if I'm not familiar with where I'm traveling, I may wanna do that. Or I can put up my uh, 360 camera and watch my coach. I can see exactly where I'm driving now if I wanna get, you know, if I really wanna have like backseat drivers. <laughs> Touch the screen once and then I can hit the full screen. Now, everyone in the coach can, um, rate my driving skills <laughs> along with y'all. So I'm driving down the road here. So one of the things that I love once I'm, you know, get situated in the driver's seat, get on the road, I want to go to my cruise control. So because that's really makes the driving almost effortless. So I'm going to get up to speed here. I'm on a two lane road, so I'm just going to go to 45. So I'm going to hit my cruise on and then I'm going to, well, I'm creeping up to 50, so let's just go right up to 50. I'm gonna get up to 50 miles per hour, hit the set. Now I can take my foot off the accelerator, sit back and really just enjoy this beautiful countryside. Absolutely love this part of the drive. Um, now I've got my, I can Bluetooth my phone in, I can talk with the kids, uh, I can listen to a podcast. In fact, if you need something to listen to, you might wanna try my podcast. RVU, where I interview in, um, industry experts, icons, and influencers. So if you have some time, go and listen today. So I've got the engine brake on. As soon as I take my foot off the accelerator, the coach will start to slow down. Uh, so let me show you that. I've got accelerator on. As soon as I take my foot off the accelerator, I've just got it on low, but the coach is gonna to start to slow down. You can feel that engine's helping me slow down there and it will just continue to slow me down. So that's a nice safety feature. I like to have that on when you're driving something this heavy. So I've got the cruise control set. I'm just going down the road, 61.5 on the decibel reader. So nice and quiet in this fire. So not only is this a nice quiet ride, it is really comfortable from the chairs to the independent front suspension, obviously the Spartan chassis with the X bracing, you are going to love the ride and drive of the Aspire. So now while I'm driving, um, I talked about easy steer when I went through the dash, but now I want to show you. So you're just gonna click in to the home button and then scroll down. I can check my tire pressure. All right, there's my easy steer. 
Say I want to loosen that up a little bit. I'm going to click in and I can take that down. Once I get it to where I want, to where it's comfortable, where it feels good to me, then I can go ahead and click the OK and I've locked it in. Easy as that. You can do it while you're driving. You don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel and you don't have to take your eyes off the road. So I mentioned my podcast. Did I mention who some of my guests were going to be? Um, Ken Walters, President and CEO of Integra and Jayco. Uh, Ted Cook, an icon in itself of the Integra product. He knows it all. He taught me pretty much everything I know about an Integra, Integra coach. And also Steve Plott from Integra over service. So super important um, that you get to learn more about these great um, gentlemen in the RV business. So make sure you check out that podcast. Okay, so I've started something new. I am signing all the coaches that I do a video on. So if you find my signature on the coach, send me a picture at Angie at NIRVC.com and I'll give you an extra thousand dollars off your coach. Okay, so what are you waiting for? You need to come and test drive a coach today. We want you to come and have fun with us at National Indoor RV Centers. We even have our own motorhome club. So the all-inclusive motorhome club we will cover your first year's dues when you buy a coach from us. And then we have these great rallies. They're like a cruise in your coach. We do them all across the country. They're always different. We try to keep them fairly small so that we can have, um, so we have time to get to know each and every customer. And we provide unique experiences um, at every one of our rallies. So your fee covers the resort, uh, all your food and drink, and exclusive activities you're gonna love it so don't wait come and see us today thank you so much for joining me today on my tour of the 2024 integra aspire 44d now i'm sure you're wondering how much this beautiful coach would cost you well msrp is 661 463 if you want to find out what i can sell it to you for make sure you give us a call at national indoor rv centers or go to nirvc.com um, you may have questions about floor plans, about options and standards. We have RV lifestyle specialists that are ready and waiting to help you. And like I said earlier, you can order exactly what you want, a custom order. It's not going to cost you any more, or you can find something that we have on one of our dealership lots. Just remember that with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, help me out. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, check out our paint and body video, our ceramic coating video, and of course, my RVing 101 series. Thanks so much for joining me and have a wonderful day.